Okay, so for love, I mean, I don't know what to say about this one, boy, right? It is directed and written by Joy Garuru Akpajota, right? Um, it is such a, oh man, it hits you, man. This film motherfucking hits you, right? It's produced by Emily Morgan. Um, Rebecca Lloyd edited a piece. Photography is handled by Nanu Siegel. And music is Ray Ulun Uga. And our cast, we have Anne Akinjirin, Marcy Dulapu Uni, Diana Yekini, and Damaola Adelija. Right, so the story is a couple battle for a future where they can find a home and freedom that is not determined by where they're from. It is, I mean, it's, it's a tough one, right? Because um, Nileshi is an illegal immigrant uh, who's been hiding for three years. You know, she lives with her girlfriend, Martha, and their two other friends, Dalopu and Tulu. When immigration does a random check on Dalopu, both Nancheki and Martha are forced to make decisions about their love and their future together. And, right, so we open up and we, you know, they're both in bed and it's the alarm goes off and, you know, and Neki goes to work, right? And so we're seeing all of this, but we don't know, right, about her status. But, yeah, she comes home and they're just all talking and chilling and then the knock on the door and then yo it hits you man it hits you and like it's so fucking tough because like you hear about the stories right you hear about the stories now the pro the thing is right <sighs> immigration is such a complex thing but there's countries where you will be killed for your sexuality, right? Now, if you remember, right, in 2020, we we looked at I Am Samuel, you know? And it also played at London Film Festival, and it also played at Flair in 2021. And um, Peter talked about, like, that whole situation, right? Because that couple... Man, they were, in, you know what I mean? They had to hide. They had to be in fear of their lives. And that's what happens. This is a thing. So you kind of just, you, man, you, you feel for people in that situation. And it's a bit like, yo, surely, right? Surely you wouldn't get shipped back. Because that's a death sentence, right? But we've seen it happen. We've seen it happen. Right, you know, Femi Kudi, he was shipped back, and now that wasn't because of sexuality, that was his outspokenness against the government. They shipped him back, got killed. You know what I mean? So it's just like, yo, these things, you yeah, you cannot but just feel just sadness, man, when you see this shit. And that like the reactions and everything, like, you understand. Because imagine being in this situation and it's having to hide constantly. Okay, so at no point can you truly feel comfortable. Can you truly feel safe? And all of this, all of this just jumps out of the screen, man. It hits you. Hits you fucking hard. Really does. So, yeah, you're watching this and it's just, oh, but then, right, these, these moments of just pure happiness, 
pure happy like there's these scenes that just make you smile make you feel warm man but then you have to remember what the reality is and like it's open ended it's open ended but boy man you are just left just like oh, what like because you have no clue what the fuck's going to happen and it is just this aching feeling inside, right? Joy has done a tremendous job of just bringing th these feelings to life, right? The, the realities of this situation. Obviously, it's going to be different for everyone, but this is a truth. This is something that will impact so many people. And yeah, the way it's written, the acting, there's everything brings it straight to life man so i i can't recommend for love enough people if you get the opportunity definitely definitely check 